Welcome back everybody to The Haunted Beard. Thank you for joining me today. I am continuing my reviews of the Child's Play franchise. Today I'm here to talk about Child's Play 3. We've jumped ahead eight years. Andy is now in Military Academy. Here we go. So Child's Play 3 starts off and we are in the Good Guy Doll Factory, only it looks like the post-apocalyptic version of it because they have discontinued these dolls for the last eight years. There's a cleaning crew that goes in there to clean up the remnants of what is left of Chucky from the end of Child's Play 2. And as they're cleaning him up, a few drops of blood get spilt into this giant vat of plastic and it mixes up what I can only describe as sort of like a Chucky smoothie. And of course, this means Chucky is back once again, takes us into our opening credit sequence, and then we arrive in the boardroom of the top executives of the Good Guy doll, and they are trying to decide if they are going to continue production with the doll once again, and they decide that they are going to. And Child's Play 3 has a really solid opening 15 minutes. And in fact, the next sequence we get is the kill scene of the top toy executive guy, which might actually be my favorite scene in the entire movie. I really like this opening kill scene. I love kind of how prolonged and drawn out the scene is. They really kind of savor the suspense. I really love just the stalker vibes that Chucky gives off here. I wish they would have kind of implemented this a little bit more throughout the film. I just like how Chucky is just really savoring every moment of getting to kill this guy. And you can just tell he's having an absolute blast doing it. <laughs> Bullseye. It's just such a great kind of prolonged scene where Chucky is just in his element and really just enjoying himself. And Chucky just starts toying with him and again he's just savoring every moment. We get a solid kill, we get a great line from Chucky after the kill, and this opening kill is just a blast. Just like the good old days. Nothing like a strangulation to get the circulation going. Then Chucky figures out that Andy is now at Kent Military Academy. Somehow he's able to find this out by hacking and logging onto the toy executive's computer. I don't know why that information would be on there. I thought that was just hilarious. But anyways, he knows where Andy's at now. He's at the Military Academy, and that gives us our new setting for Child's Play 3. And I like the military setting here. It's, it's kind of just obviously a nice change of scenery. They take us out of sort of the city, the home apartment of the first two films and give us a totally different setting. I think that's a good move there. And Andy is a bit of an outcast. He kind of gets bullied. He runs into the sergeant who's quoting Bible verses at him in the most like condemning sort of way. Then he runs into what is like the most over the top and intense barber ever. <laughs> the Romans invented the military cut. You know why? Why? Keep their hair short. So the enemies couldn't grab a hold of it in battle and slit their throat. And Child's Play 3 also changes things up a little bit too in that Andy is no longer the main target. He now has to kind of become the savior. And the main target is one of the young kids at the academy named Tyler. And Chucky reveals himself to him and he tries to become his friend ultimately because he is wanting to now take over and possess Tyler. And so it's no longer Andy he's after. Instead, Andy becomes the one who tries to help rescue and save Tyler. Next, we get a scene where we kind of meet the rest of our main characters. We're introduced to the drill sergeant Slayton, who's just the worst. There's Whitehurst, the young kid who gets bullied. Then there's De Silva, the girl who is pretty much this kind of strong, doesn't take no crap sort of girl. And I, I think she's a pretty good character. She's definitely one of the better characters here. And this leads us to our next kill scene where a garbage truck driver gets crushed to death by Chucky. And this is a, a really good kill in terms of its idea. The execution though kind of leaves a little bit to be desired in terms of you don't really get to see much. You kind of see his hands sticking up out of the truck and then it's a cutaway. And so it is a really brutal kill, but it is kind of, it's a cutaway. And so you don't really get the full gory effect of it. Ah! 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 
Then we get our scene where Chucky finally reveals himself to Andy, and of course all of his worst fears have come true. It's been eight years, but Chucky lives and he's back again. Long time no see, pal. Andy goes looking for Chucky. He busts into the drill sergeant Shelton's room and gets busted. And the entire sort of unit gets punished. Meanwhile, Chucky is now playing hide and seek with Tyler. Chucky ends up hiding in the colonel's office. And this is another kind of fun kill because I like just how Chucky's presence alone is enough to kill the colonel. I mean, he quite literally scares him to death he has a heart attack and dies and you know chucky like doesn't even have to do anything except just kind of stand there and talk to him and it it kills him so i, I don't know i, I kind of like that i thought it's a pretty cool kill not long after this we get the kill of the barber who is somebody that we absolutely hate so we really enjoy watching chucky kill this guy and this is just a nice bloody gnarly kill he slits his throat with of course a razor blade i think this is one of the better kills of the movie and we get some good blood here we get some just gnarly chucky violence it's good stuff presto you dead <laughs> And this takes us to our, really our climactic sequence in Child's Play 3, the War Games. And Chucky has this diabolical plan where he takes everybody's rifle and substitutes out what are like the paintball bullets, I guess, with actual live ammunition. What a great little setup there. And because of this, the drill sergeant gets shot, who's another character that we absolutely hate, so we don't mind watching him get killed. And then good old Whitehurst sacrifices himself for the betterment of the entire group by literally throwing himself on a live grenade. Chucky then reveals his master plan to Tyler and lets him know that he's really not a good guy, he's a bad guy. And Tyler runs off into the carnival nearby the woods where everybody's kind of camped out. And then we get our final sequence. And the ending here is pretty good. I don't like it quite as much as Child's Play 2, but I like kind of the production value of it. They go into the haunted house thing, and then you get kind of this like hell type landscape and Chucky gets his face sliced off which is pretty cool and then you get like the ultimate climactic moment as Chucky, Tyler, and Andy are climbing up Skull Mountain and there's some kind of pretty good you know fun suspense and tension here and then ultimately Chucky falls off the mountain into this like I guess this massive fan blade below and just gets chopped a bit so it's it's a pretty fun sequence like I said it's not quite as good as Child's Play 2 but it's pretty fun. Overall, I still have a pretty good time with Child's Play 3. Yeah, there's some things that I could complain about and don't think are great. The performance from the child actor of Tyler is not very good. I hate kind of singling out kids acting performances. I sort of feel bad about it, but it's not great. You know, some of the dialogue and just some of the acting in general is kind of aim but we're really here for Chucky and Chucky I think brings it I still feel that some of the kills are they're a bit neutered and I kind of talked about that in my last review with Child's Play 2 just because of the doll and being that the killer is a killer doll like some of the editing with the kills they kind of have to cut away and you don't really get some of the full impact but even with some of those complaints, there's some good one-liners from Chucky. We still get some good kills, and I do like the change of pace and setting. And I also really think that the opening 15 minutes is like pretty top-notch stuff. So all in all, I still have a pretty good time with Child's Play 3. I think I'm going to be, I'm going to give it like a 6.5 out of 10. So I still quite enjoy it. It's still a fun time. So now that wraps up sort of the, I guess, opening trilogy of the Child's Play franchise because now it really kind of goes in a completely new direction where Chucky is now really the main character and main focus. So coming up next is Bride of Chucky. I hope you'll join me. And like always, if you like videos and content like this, it is all horror and thriller movies here on The Haunted Beard. Hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on The Haunted Beard.